Welcome to HockeyShare.com. Today's video we're going to talk about the ability and the concepts related to turning inside of a tight area. And so we've done videos on the regular tight turn and we've even expanded a little bit on a slide turn. But what we want to do now is talk about the concepts that lead up to that. So one thing that we're seeing at the younger levels is a lot of kids get really comfortable with the basic tight turn where it's two feet on the ice, right? And they rip through the heels of their edges coming around the turn. And there's a time and a place for that, but what we also want to start to figure out is how do we make these turns in a much smaller, tighter area, right? Because we want to think about the skill that's going to take us and it's going to work at the next age group that we have to play in, whether it's juniors, college, professional, and so on. So in order to understand the dynamic that's going on here as we shift into this turn is we have to get comfortable with the ability to shift our weight in a very small movement. So the way we do that is we keep our feet underneath our shoulders, underneath our hips, and we shift our weight by just transferring a tiny bit with our hips to load up our outside leg. So now as we come in, we shift our weight and we're able to turn through it and come out the other side. So as we get into that, we're taking away the extra space required where guys are stepping out here before they enter their turn. And that's just wasted energy. There's time and place where, of course, you're gonna step in to uh, control a defender, but in this case, we wanna just talk about how do we exit in the smallest space possible. Next, after you get comfortable here, one of the things that we have to do is understand how to shift our weight and then actually use our underfoot to open up and slide so that we can come back the other direction. So we're basically changing 180 degrees on this one. We're coming in, slide turn, coming out, and we're accelerating with power. So again, that's kind of your, your uh, classic pivot slide turn here. And what we're doing is we're coming in, shifting our weight, so we become, underfoot gets loose, the middle of our skate slides. So we're gonna pick this up, we're gonna allow this to slide on an outside edge, essentially act as a pivot point, now this leg's gonna come around. It's gonna allow us to fully load this left leg. As this leg's coming around, our hips, our shoulders are opening, our head's opening, our arms are opening, and this leg's loaded. We have to have a confident under push with our under skate, with our pivot skate. So essentially we're in and we're out. And where you'll see a lot of guys lose it is on this out push. And that happens for a few different reasons. So things to watch for as you're training with athletes on this is number one, guys will put their heel and their inside skate will slip. They'll hit the ice and they'll chatter the entire way. So we want to actually start slightly toe down so that we can set eventually to the middle of our skate. Middle of the skate's where we're going to get that nice slide. And that's what we want. This is essentially braking and then we're coming off of that turn. The next thing you're gonna see is that guys don't get it open enough. So they don't get this hip rotation far enough that they can actually use it to pivot back the other direction. And what happens then is their turn becomes much bigger. So it's gonna get here and they're gonna slide a lot further out to either side as their skate is still half open, half closed. So hip mobility is a big piece to this puzzle, but if you get good hip mobility, you can come in, come out, in pretty much a straight line. Okay, so the next thing where you see guys struggle is after they get this, their upper body is gonna trail behind because they're still looking the direction they were going. So now as they're coming around, this crossover shortens because the hips and shoulders haven't fully snapped around that pivot point. So we wanna come through, we wanna get here, we wanna look back, as we catch this hard outside edge here, this is coming around, bring the shoulders, bring the heads, accelerate back out this way. And the last piece that you're gonna lose a little bit of power is on the actual push itself, on that outside edge push. You have to have confidence in that outside edge. The weight's gonna start towards the middle of the skate and it's gotta to rock towards that toe. So you're coming off the ball of the foot and you have to explode with that toe in the ice. And so one way you isolate that is you have them execute the slide turn, come through here, push and they should be able to glide straight back the other direction. So what it looks like from the other side, you just have them hold that slide, have them come here, boom, come through and they should be able to hold that glide straight towards uh, the other direction on a clean edge from one push, not two. You'll see a lot of guys try to come here and they'll have to do two crossovers to get back to where they want to go. We want to bring that back down to one. Hope you find these tips helpful. We'll see you next time at HockeyShare.com.